Typhoon, Triff, you guys are ready to go whenever. Feel free to begin and start your match. We are a okay here. All right. Ooh, Ooh. Paper. Ooh, a paper. A paper. Paper always wins, bro. Just saying. They have begun here and both of them trying to outsmart each other. And oh, Typhoon wins it. Typhoon wins the die roll. That's big. That's big. Very big. Big true. Typhoon taking the dice roll when they're going to go first, of course. And just as a reminder, I'll bring up his list up on the screen just one more time. So you can have a quick reminder about that. Is Typhoon playing Zephyr cards? He is playing Zephrath. He's playing Zephrani with the Divine Strike, uh, the DD engine. And yeah, Wait, they're both playing 45 cards, mental. <laughs> um, yeah, they both, en they both ended up realizing that the perfect, most correct number to use... It's 45. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Typhoon starting with a turbo card. A turbo Mystical card. Mystical Beastmaster Cerberus. Got the Cerberus into the Janko play, so we're going to be seeing an Electromite. We see from their lists. Um, oh, Chrono. Ooh, the and the Chrono. So and the Chrono grab. Big if true. Capsule. Two turbo cards. Cap He's using the Chrono to special the Jackal. Interesting. So he could make Utopia Beyond and pass here. That is uh -huh. an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, normal, normal Dark Worm. It's pretty good. This is a very strong opening from Typhoon. Gonna get that uh, scale for the for his low scale, the gate zero. And let's check out his extra deck real quick while he's making his plays, see what kind of th things he's going from. So I believe Triff doesn't play Vortex. He's playing Dragster, we could see that. And for rank fours, we have Tornado and Karagorigan. And for his generic link three, we have a Metatron. So he's gonna go into the Metatron, uh, the El Electromite here, sorry, with the uh, Chronograph and the Dark Worm, uh, putting it on top of the Jackal, sending Zephrath. So. The I, boy. Interesting what he's gonna be using as his high scale here is it i mean zephraf can just send a zephrani become a seven scale i think right yeah there you go zephrani is a seven yeah that's gonna get that's gonna get, uh, cool. get him his uh high scale uh his negate rather his negate oh he's just choosing to get zephrani into his extra instead of the zephrani. first get Ooh, is that a take back is that a take back uh, play wasn't complete, bro. <laughs> uh, are you paying so He's using the light right here. He's still using headset mic or is that? Oh, my headset mic is on Discord. My studio mic's on uh, the stream. Yeah. Best of seven. We're going to hear it for a long time. Pendulum Mirrors. Actually, I don't, I don't even think Pendulum Mirrors will take that long. <laughs> we add him back Chrono and then drawing a card from the Electromite. A bonus card. So he must have another low scale in his hand since he destroyed his get zero. Uh, what yep, did there it is. Garuda. He's got Garuda. What did he add he back? Uh, he added back the chronograph. So he can't yeah. pendulum summon this dark, dark worm, but I don't think that matters here. Yeah. He's going to pen back that Zephrani in that get zero. Going for the seven, and Ooh, he's hard. And the from the the <laughs> so he can overlay the Strudel with the get zero here to make his uh, absolute for his that is actually so funny. And then the Zephrani gets, and then he gets a drag star out of it as well. That is yeah, I guess, I guess that's why he didn't get the Zephrath, because it would be a 7... Uh, yeah. yeah, so this is going to be absolute... This is going to be Vortex Dragster Jackal with a Divine Strike set. So let's count the negates. One negate Vortex, two negate Jackal, <laughs> three negate Divine Strike, four negates. Four negates, stream! Four negates! That's a four negates right there, boys. <laughs> let's go! No hand traps, 8 million negates. <laughs> Please get these donations going, guys. We can get, uh, again, a reminder, this is for the prize pool. All proceeds and all money made uh, on this stream will go towards uh, the winner of this, uh, of this best of seven series, a Pendulum Mirror. Who is the true master of Pendulum? Best of seven, Jesus. Ah, it's gonna be fine. Like Triff's. Uh, it's, gonna, it's only gonna be four games anyway, so it's not gonna last too long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, this is a completely unbiased panel we have here on commentary. <laughs> uh, so we're paying half our life points for Destrudo targeting the Zafranui. 
and then he's going to make the dragster. That's so set bad, the divine strike. Dude. That's half his life points, it's, Hog. Oh, half his life points for four and he gets. I don't <laughs> know how he's going to cope. So. Uh, dragster, Vortex. And... Oh, Providence. For the, I forgot the, he had the Providence, the so that, that adds a divine strike for his fourth negate. So not only does... Um, well, I guess the protection effect is irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah, at this point, yeah. But. Okay, yeah. The Providence is actually really big there because it like starts the Jackal with the spell yeah. counters. Normally, you end without the counters. You can have to rely on your opponent. So let's one. let's count how long until Triff scoops. <laughs> going in with six oh, anti. Oh, he's playing it. He's playing it. Oh. He's going straight to the Cerberus. Will we see uh first negate come through? Get some counters <laughs> on that Jackal real quick. Effect of Cerberus is being activated. Is Typhoon gonna let this go through? That's a K. That's a K. Sure, you can search. I'll put the uh, scores and stuff up in the uh, stream title right now, actually. Uh, I guess the Jackal has two more counters, but... Yeah. It shouldn't matter. Oh, there, there we go. So this is game one. This is turn two. Now the Cerberus is going to bring out the Jackal onto the field here, and we've got the 2,000 defense drag, so we've got the 3,000 defense vortex. I'm just thinking, like, going into the battle phase, what he might be considering before, you know, going into a Pendulum Summon or something like that. I mean, he could get rid of the Dragster first and foremost. He might consider crashing with Jackal. Just depends what his other normal summon could be here. He's going Ooh, for the Garuda to the Garuda. hand, actually. Interesting. So Garuda's effect yeah. here... It will, be, it will be the Divine Strike. Yes, it will. If you have no or other the, the Dragster. If you have no I think you'll probably use Dragster on the Grita. Yeah, probably, right? Mm -hmm. When you have no other... Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm just dealing with chat right now. Uh, can we get some uh, mods there? Thank you. Assault mods. Appreciate it. <laughs> Seven people tried to ban him Got at the same him. time. Remember to uh, please follow the stream, guys, as well. You'll be able to watch um, watch me stream daily, every evening, around about 7 p.m. Here Century comes the Garuda, and there comes the Dragster to negate the Garuda. Doesn't want to lose that Divine Strike. Yeah. And Plus putting it into the graveyard also means that um, you can't pendle summon it back either. Yeah, and a spell negate against Pendulum normally doesn't have a, that large an impact. Yeah. So, on the Garuda seems fine. <laughs> Do it for Typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Allure. He's digging for those turbo cards, boys. Digging for that pet called Darkware Turbo. Let me bring up uh, Triff's list just uh, while he's going through his plays here, real quick. Uh, so, Ooh, just as a reminder, he banishes. Oh, he hard drew a time gazer there. That's a yikes. Uh, but Triss playing, so we could be trying to dig for like an, uh, the Curtain Razor, the Shrine. Call is big, but that's kind of risky to resolve right now. The Fog Blades are going to be completely dead going second, of course. We do have a Curtain Razor come down here. It's going to drop that onto the field. with the, uh, Did he normal summon that or did he activate it? I kind of missed He it. activated it and then special yeah. summon. Okay, so we have a special summon of the Curtain Razor. Activating Wisdom Eye in the scale. See where he's going from here. This is really... Hmm. Let's see, what was what he going for here? Double Ooh, Wisdom Eye? Double Wisdom Eye. That's a Double Wisdom Eye. That is a big dono right there. Thank you so much, McBeady, with 22 and 7. Really appreciate it. Guys, remember, this big yellow bar that you see at the top here, this is the prize pool. So like, there's, mul there's multiple ways that Tiffin can play this turn. So like, there's the possibility of just negate this scale and they get they get the next scale he plays, and then you still have a monster negate for his one card left. But that's probably a bit more risky than just like holding your negates and playing it safe, and just letting him pendulum summon and then dealing with the pendulum summon afterwards instead of forcing him to not pendulum summon. Yeah. If you wanted to end the game quickly, he could maybe go the route of uh, I'll negate, negate, negate. See what I win. But mm. he's playing it safe here. Chronograph. Chronograph's gonna come down and 
I think this uh, that's uh, the only attack that gets reduced for Dragster. Probably gonna have to link up here, I suppose. I mean, you would uh, you would link, and then you would ha have to like not activate any uh, any yeah, effects of electromite act, immediately. Yeah, you can't activate the electromite here. Yeah, that would, that wouldn't work. And you would have to try and bring out something from the extra. Cerberus is going to be stuck there permanently because it's a scale, uh, level eight. The Pendulum Mirror Match, I just feel like, is. Uh... Can we call it skillful? I, I don't know. Like, what, what do we... No, not really. At all. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is this really a true test of, like, you know, the best player? I don't, I don't know. This is interesting. But, you know, Typhoon is at a serious advantage having uh, won the dice roll. Uh, but it is a best of seven, so there is, you know, uh, some tailoring towards the side deck. You know, BC. Oh, we got our purple poison. So we're locked under two low scales right now. That's an hmm. interesting choice. What possible reason could you have for that? So um, he just added like a wisdom eye with the off dragon. So he must think that he's going to be able to pop one of his scales somehow. I don't see an electromite resolving, so... Well, he could always just like go into the battle phase, right? Yeah, yeah I think he's... So okay. I think that's probably his plan. Yeah, he's going to the battle phase. So yeah, so Taven's in a really bad position now because no matter what, this purple poison is going to be getting rid of two cards. Because if he negates purple poison's um, an extra deck effect, then it gets destroyed and then pops something else. Yeah, that's true. So you basically just have to let it go through. This is real bad for Taven. You can attack over the jackal here in the damage step. And then the purple poison is going to uh, destroy the vortex dragon. So he lets the vortex dragon be destroyed, and his jackal is killed by the chronograph sorcerer. And... So we're going into main phase two. Tiffin only has one negate left. So here's where the strategy of maybe just negating all the skills Triff yeah. played might have worked out better. So you don't you don't allow him to get to that purple poison, which just that purple poison just dealt with two negates. Yeah. That is a really powerful purple poison. Yeah, like I remember back in the like when Expo first dropped, like whenever your opponent activated a purple poison in scale, it was so scary because um, if they would activate, oh no, was it purple poison? No, lost pendulum. Wisdom, eh? No, so, like, sorry, it's... sorry, it was lost pendulum. So if they didn't negate the lost pendulum, then you put that in purple poison. It would always get rid of two of their negates because lost pendulum would pop the. Purple poison. So it, this is kind of like a similar situation where it's like double wisdom. Yeah. The, um... So currently in Triff's hand, we have a wisdom eye and an unknown, I believe. Typhoon has a gate zero in hand and a back from the uh, Metaltron. And we still have the Divine Strike set, so he does have some kind of option here. Be interesting to see how he uses it. I think he kind of is forced to save it for the Electromite. Oh, he's, he's going for the Divine going, Strike. Yeah. He's going to go, yeah, Divine Strike straight up on the, the Wisdom Eye. Interesting. Right, so here so comes the that, Electromite. Um, the Typhoon use Metaltron. Just as a quick... Uh, he's banished the Cerberus from his extra deck instead of uh, Sephiranui. Uh, <laughs> he uh, wants to fix that. Probably not super relevant, but uh, you need to banish the Wisdom Eye as well from your graveyard. Uh, if you guys are listening. No, it doesn't need to banish Wisdom Eye. Uh, Divine Strike, strike banishes. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Just destroys. Oh. Am I thinking of Nine Pillars? Never mind. Nine, nine Pillars shuffles, shuffles into deck. So. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. shit! We got a big donation. Eman Games donated 100. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's the price full sorted there. That's Big a, up circuit. That is, uh, and you know, I set the goal to 100. Uh, but you know, feel free to keep going, guys. The 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 um. What he's doing here is he's just paying Tiff. He's he's paying his player. <laughs> uh, this prize pool is uh, going towards the winner here. Winner takes all for uh, anyone interested and wants to help support this uh, and get this grudge match going. Please uh, donate generously, whatever you can. All of it adds up. And your favorite player here can take away a hundred good boy points. That is Eman Games Erkin with the, should we call it the oil money? The, uh, 
Nah, no CCG nah, jokes. Nah, no, nah. no CCG jokes. Okay. Nah, nah, thank nah, you. Nah, nah. Thank you so much, Erkin. Appreciate it. This is, uh, yeah. So, let's see if Triff has managed to assemble scales after this electromite. <laughs> I believe he had to like add one back with electromite and then maybe draw the other scale off of it, which could be awkward. It depends what that yeah. random card we didn't know in his hand was. So he added back Dark Room, so he, we don't know two of the cards in his hand. Oh, but he hasn't normal summoned, so there's oh, his normal yes. summon, so he gets himself a get zero. So if he has a high skill, he still has not Pendulum summoned. Correct. He has played through four negates without a Pendulum summon. It's actually crazy that Purple Poison just well, here, dealt with Here's the zero, there. and there's oh, the high skill. Here yes, comes man. the Pendulum summon. Here comes the cloud. This and is yeah. not looking good for Tiffin. We ended on four negates, and we might have lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoops. A slight miscalculation here from uh, Typhoon. We've got to pen it up. The thing about best of seven is that I don't see this scenario happening again. If Typhoon will be wary of the purple poison and will play around it more carefully next time, I assume. So this is probably a one-off. This probably won't happen again. But we'll see how it turns out for this game. Let's hope uh, the tilt doesn't settle in. And Typhoon can bring it back in the next few games. Because it's looking pretty bad right now. So I think we still have an unknown in the hat. Well, I think the unknown was harmonizing, but he no, did No, the unknown was the harmonizing, so the current card in his hand is all... Yeah, I guess it's also an unknown. Because he drew off the Electromite, so... If he's hard drawn to harmonize in here, then... Uh... <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> no tuner access. We won't be seeing an Ignister hitting the field. Um... Really curious what this card is in hand because that's what's going to be able to dictate what kind of follow-up he's going to make here. He's bringing out the Oath Dragon, which is uh, going to add back the uh, Wisdom, Wisdom Eye from the Graveyard. So that's his Pendulum Summon complete. So I... <laughs> that is Rank yes. 4. We have a Rank 4 play. Now, taking a look at Triff's uh, list here, he is running... Uh, gosh, is this Triff's list or Typhoon's? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is Trips this year. Trips is the one with the fog blades. He has Karen Gorgon and uh, uh, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, he sense. might he might make Bardish plays. I forgot. Yeah, oh, yeah. Plays. Bardish. So that might be what he goes for here. He's going for the rank four instead. He's probably going to go for the <laughs> that, He's tornado. decided that Wolf Dragon is in defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's a late defense mode the Wolf Dragon there. Ooh, I don't know about that, Pen Gods. Uh, it's a late one. It's taking that back. Uh, accidents happen, I guess. Oh, he's clicking oh! it! He's oh, clicking it! Go. Oh, he puts it in attack! Okay. <laughs> That's not Cheeky a cheat. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love doing while, the... I'm, while I'm overlaying, this will go to defense mode. <laughs> I, I, I love the uh, the dueling book because you just you can see like the brackets around it. It's like that your you know your opponents clicked it. You know, without saying anything. They've told you. No, 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 put that, put that back. No, no, I saw. <laughs> I jokingly, jokingly I... summoned my Oath Dragon in attack. <laughs> it was so, a good play at the time. Right now, uh, Tiffin has a Gate Zero in his hand that he added back from Metaltron, so Triff is destroying the high scale with the Tornado Dragon here. Uh, you likely destroy any other 8 scale Tiffin plays during this turn, so Tiffin would have to have access to two high scales, which means having one in his hand and top decking another. I mean, seemed... I'll. Alternatively, he can like swing over the tornado dragon, right? Yeah, and then maybe try and make a counterboard the main phase too. Then Triff gets to push back again, so this might go. This will be a lot more turns than we expected in the pendulum mirror. This this might be a question mark. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mono Kuma Sensei, for the three donation. I really appreciate. It. Thank you so much, guys. Remember as well, all the donations going towards the prize pool, and. Uh, take this time out as well. 900 follower, uh, viewers right now. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, make sure you hit the follow button so you can uh, check out my streams regularly every evening that I uh, that I stream. If you have any Twitch Primes, feel free to use them. It's a free sub. You get all the Yu-Gi-Oh! emotes that you can imagine. And, yeah, make sure that Triff Gaming's YouTube as well gets some love as well. Make sure you sub to him on YouTube, and you'll be seeing the replays and the VOD of this go up there. <clears throat> Takes back the Zephrath, doesn't let opponent switch mode after it. <laughs> Typhoon takes back Zephrath, but you know, you got the the position of Ultra is important. I don't think is it, is it really that important? Like, what would be what would you be afraid of? Like, this is it was pretty relevant to be honest. <clears throat> 
so many randoms messaging me. Yeah, that's why I have that disabled. <clears throat> oh yeah, alternatively he does just like banish the Meltron and the Tornado Dragon. Sorry, not the Meltron, the Dragster and the Tornado Dragon for Meltron's effect. Who would have thought mm, that Meltron Dragster, had that effect? Dra Dragster would come back with seven counter, uh, seven levels as well. Yeah, exactly. I, I thought that important, but hey. It's pretty cool, yeah. It could, it could happen, it could happen. Well, it could like uh, come up rather. We're linking off and Electromat, so the, the the battle position of the off did not matter, people. It has been used for a link summon. I don't want to have to be issuing PE miners here, Triff, but let's get let's get it going, buddy. Let's uh let no yeah, slow this, plays here. <laughs> yeah, this is a slow play right here. Oh. He's playing Unicorn. Did I miss that? What? He is playing Unicorn, yes. I wonder who's uh... coaching him through the plays right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Triff Gaming got Jesse Cotton on the other line. Huh? Huh? Oh. I wonder how many Eman uh, players, uh, Eman Spieler, are together on Discord. Perhaps you never know, but let's assume the best. And this is a one versus one v one. Yeah, no just, help. Just two grown men sitting at their laptops in their bedroom, trying to settle their differences through a card game. So, let's see if Tiffin can pull off two eight skills back to back. Yeah. That'd be wild. Even the eight skill won't really do anything either, though, right? You can only pin them summon one now. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking too good for um, our Wunderkind. Mm -hmm. I mean, alternatively, he could use Garuda in the um, uh, like scale effect to pop one of his scales and then just activate a scale and then hope, then what? <laughs> and then and then hope Triff hits the wrong scale, the wrong number. Because he could have two low skills or two high skills in his hand, you know what I'm saying? So he's he's pretty low right now, and that dragster's uh, got two thousand defense. So I mean, both of his monsters run over it. So all would Triff would have to do is connect any other monster plus a monster on the board. Hmm. This commentary is so biased. Not even at all. What are you talking about? We love Triff here. This man just fought through four in the gates and is winning. Yeah. Like, come on, we're giving the man the respect he deserves. This is crazy. Like, Typhoon uh, definitely uh, misstepped here, uh, but we'll see how. Yeah, uh, how Typhoon Trist definitely turn misplayed around. last turn. Bad Bayern breakers with the pound donation. Appreciate it. Triff and Y Joe City have tiny willies. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's a uh, <laughs> that's a donation for Typhoon, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good Ooh. draw. That is big. So, so will that's... he chain Tornado Dragon here? So and then rely on one of the unknown cards in his hand being an 8 skill? So this, uh, if this goes through, this Dragster is currently level 5, right? Yes. So yes. Not really anything he could do with a Lamia play. I is he playing Lamia? What is this for? I guess it's just for the Kepler to get the... He does... Yeah, okay. So he could go for the uh, Kepler into the Copernicus or... Wait, no, oh, I he is playing it. Lamia. It's interesting. Yeah. I th well, I think that's just another way to uh, get to your uh, dragster. Uh, the, the game and uh, score and stuff is in the title, guys. I have updated it. <clears throat> the Triff is going to think hard on this one. This could be a very important decision. Yeah. It's really big. Now, both players do have access and knowledge of each other's deck lists, so Triff might be taking a lot look at that right now to see just what Typhoon's options are if this resolves. I don't believe Typhoon plays a level 6 Synchro, does he? Don't uh, think so. Let's bring his list up again. Typhoon's Synchros are Yazi, uh, Meteor Burst, interesting, and uh, the Dragster. And the Ignister. Yeah. So, so he opts the tornado. Does the tornado okay. does indeed hit the uh, the dark contract there? Now, does the Tefun have an eight skill? Alternatively, so he like could just have scale. matching. Yeah, he could just have matching skills and yeah. use the Garuda. So the biggest power could be having like this is a Franu here, I guess maybe. Not as a Franu, as a Frath, I guess. Is a Frath. So we are going oh, for the so Garuda. So he's using Garuda. So it's could... possible he's doing this to actually because he has no play. He might grow to a scale and pass, and then he's technically not dead on board. He'd be dead to a normal sound of a monster, or a scale that matches the complement. But... He, he could pendulum summon. Who could? Like, 
Like Triff, like if if he can like get yeah, a if high he skill. has a, yeah. if he has a, if he has a high skill or a normal summon, he will win. Do we know this card in hand? Mm, I don't believe so. Oh, Filish Burial for Destrudo into Yazi. into Yazi. Does he play Mare Mare? <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem to have many options past the Destrudo, to be honest. <laughs> um, so Franoi was a worm, but that's out of the deck now. So we've got Meteor Burst and Yazi as our options. It likely will be Yazi. He might sit on this Yazi, which is interesting because it, yeah. it is an untargetable. Yeah, it's an un untargetable guy. Yazi is a big boy. And uh, Triff's outs to Yazi. Let's take a look here. Going second. Um, Ignister, probably. Ignister. Yeah, he does play Ignister. I swear I did, I did see him play Ignister at one point. And of Ignister course, Borrow cards. Yeah. Oh, oh, has the pen, pen call in hand. So that's basically Ignister right there. Yeah. Sammy the Algerian yeah. Prince donates 388, pretty much giving Steven $5. Four negates, no problem. <laughs> Fighting words so, there. Oh, pen call. Yeah, he revealed it at the end of last turn. This game is over. So get high skill, get harmonizing, pendulum summon, and uh, make it Nestor spend GG. Yeah, scoop it up, Typhoon. Yikers! Right. Typhoon played that really badly. Game one to Triff.